Morning guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready to wake up to walk? Who's ready to really attack the day? Definitely looking forward to it this week. Mentioned on Thursday Forks yesterday how full on it's been. And whilst that's absolutely fantastic, this offers the peace and quiet and serenity that we all need from time to time. And I've definitely made it part of my sort of toolkit each week to get out and enjoy the sights. I'm continuing my journey along the Robin Hood Way from Nottingham Castle. It weaves its way through Nottinghamshire up to the major oak and Sherwood Forest. Right now it feels like I'm almost in genuine Robin Hood country. Just come out of Blidiff, um, started today just north of Blidiff, walked into the village, pretty built up for much of it, but that's what it's about, isn't it? Seeing different things. Whilst I like being out in the nature, as it is now, I've come through that part of it, do you know? So it's about seeing all the different things, do you know? And incidentally, about six or seven weeks ago, I was actually walking about three, four hundred yards to the south of me. So it really comes close to somewhere it's been before. Not quite touches, but at that time I was going east to west, um, back towards Papawick, um, before Thieves Wood, before sort of turning and coming back. Now I'm going west to east, and on a fine morning like this, with the sun coming up, the sun on my face, it's making for a great adventure as ever. Coming towards the end of the walk today, I'm heading towards uh, the A617, a place called White Post Farm. Anybody local to Nottingham probably be fully aware of that. Just a local visitor attraction. Don't think I've ever been myself, which I know it's been around for a long, long time now, so it's quite unique. You'll probably have to go along one day. Um, but yeah, just sort of looking to finish there. I'm almost uh, bang in the middle of the county as well. Do you know, um, whilst we've Nottingham itself is in the southwest, do you know, and then we've start walking up and back towards the west. So I've started to really head out now. So in the coming weeks, I'll be heading towards Southall. You know, there's lots of interesting things over there. Not a part of Nottinghamshire I'm particularly familiar with. Kind of know where I am at the moment because of Kay's connections. My partner, of course, she's, uh, she was born and brought up about two miles north in Renneth. So uh, it's great that we can get up here. She's obviously interested in what what's about and it's nice today because she's gone for a walk with a mum whilst I'm out doing do daily so it, just ticking all those boxes again but we don't like box ticking exercises do we something I always say um yeah it's just fantastic to be out I spoke at length really this week about being busy and making the most of everything that's going on, all the excitement of the football, everything that we can um, use to um, take some attention away from the, the monotony and the, the relentlessness of work sometimes. You know, and that's what Fridays are all about anyway, aren't they? Taking a bit of time out. But this week in particular, you know, with the excitement building ahead of the weekend, I've spoke a lot about football. I've said it a few times. It's not something... I particularly want to do through do daily but it does play a huge part of my life and this is my personal vlog this is what i do do you know so to be true to the things i say honest and relatable do you know i'm gonna have to talk about it Anna. but i'm not going to talk about it too much today you'll be glad to know hopefully on monday we'll be celebrating but for now like i say it's just about sort of losing Everything that's going on around us, you know, this is fantastic now. I'm sure you can hear the, hear the birds tweeting. And whilst I've walked through the built-up area where Blidiff is waking up to the world, you know, people stood at the bus stop, kind of people watching as I went through. Something I don't normally get to do on a Friday, which I do like to do, because generally I'm in somewhere like this, you know, somewhere quiet, far removed from the realities of what everybody's got to get up and do, do you know, and what I have to do myself 
in the next hour or so i'll be setting about work but for now it's just about getting out getting a few miles in enjoying another fine morning i was just thinking to myself uh, last summer it seemed to be seemed to get the real best of the weather so i heard lots of cobwebs on my face at the moment um yeah, I seem to get the best of the summer and, and every Friday I seem to get up to a, a fine morning. Been a bit inconsistent this year, um, when I want it most for this, this particular challenge, do you know? But today's a fine morning. When I woke up and saw the sun, it was much easier to get out of bed. Just after 5.30, get on the road, do you know, do the things I enjoy. And th I just touched on there, this is a challenge. Do you know, it, whilst it's achievable over time, whilst I'm in no rush to complete, do you know, it's still a challenge. It's still something to give me extra sort of purpose and intention. And of course, last week on Wake Up To Walk, I spoke about the challenge that lie ahead and in terms of me running one mile an hour last, Saturday, last Friday and Saturday evening. Um spoke about it a lot of course check out that video for monday to see my progress do you know absolutely brilliant that really pleased with how it all turned out do you know glad that i feel i can achieve again in in running terms but this this weekend's a completely different um sorry i'm just going to navigate a tricky part here oh this weekend's just a completely different kettle of fish. I'm just going to show you around me, you know, just whilst it probably doesn't do it justice. You know, these are the kind of things I wake up for. You know, I can see a view now. I can see for absolutely miles. And whilst the sun's in my eyes, you know, the flattish land of the uh, east of the county means you can see for absolutely miles. I'm sure it won't be long. Having crossed the 617 that I can see Civil Minster you know and those points i mentioned before but yeah getting back to what i was saying and um, this weekend is there's a completely different offering do you know got not many plans today which i'm looking forward to sort of kicking back a little bit you know every night this week i've been doing something that's what i do a lot of my work is in the evening these days but i can sort of get up today get out, get my work done, do you know, and then relax a little before everything else the weekend offers. Saturday is going to be a busy day. We're, myself and Kay are getting a little bit out of comfort zone. We've offered to help one of Kay's friends do a little bit of work around their wedding, do you know, which is uh, nothing major, but something just to look forward to. Me and Kay are working together. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, We'll still be together after the weekend. I'm sure we will. But, and then on Sunday, of course, is, is the football, the big day. I'll be out winning first thing. I'll be attacking the day then too. Do you know, and then really trying to sort of soak everything up. Got a table booked for the game. Do you know, inviting people along if they want to join. Do you know, and again, I'll, I'll keep reiterating what I'm saying. We just have to make the most of it, don't we? Do you know, the, the, the reason the, the football's particularly important this week, do you know, and the reason I'm talking about it a lot rather than just sort of using it in the background like I tend to do, is it's 55 years since it's happened. I always talk about uh, making the most of something, do you know, and yesterday I touched on how people who lived when England won the World Cup last in the final can tell the tale and lots of us have been starved of, the, of that success whilst we strive for it whilst we invest in it you know time and financially you know it's uh it's times like this you have to make the absolute most of if you if you don't you know you're not really being true to yourself are you do you know i'm not saying everybody's going to be into it the way i am but the fact i do invest a lot of money and time into football you know, I read and sort of like to think I'm a bit of a, a stato and all these kind of things. You know, this is the time, isn't it? This is the time to absolutely make the most of it. Do you know, so I'm going to do that. 
I've already booked Monday off work. So whilst we are doing a bit of work tomorrow, I get that extra day back, do you know? So probably be a little bit hung over regardless of the score. But again, it'd be okay trying to pretend that that's not gonna happen, but it is, it's all part of what I am. Do you know, I like to make healthy choices when I can, I'll, I'll kick in. Somebody used the analogy of me this week, kind of like the, the Ricky Atten of running when I need to, I can sort of get to it, get the weight off, do you know, complete what I need to complete. I'm trying to be a little bit different than that. Do you know, it's important for me to be a bit more consistent, but it just proves that people actually notice and can be, take something from it. And that's all we're looking to do, aren't we? We're just looking to keep inspiring and motivating people um, to make good choices. Getting up on a Friday morning is definitely about making good choices. Again, I'm going to show you around me. You know, not a soul for miles. You can just about hear that 617 in the distance. So I'm definitely getting to where I need to be to get picked up. As ever, it'll be off to work with a coffee and a croissant. You know, something small to look forward to on a Friday. Um, just to sort of feel like I've uh, earned it. And that's all it's about, isn't it? Small wins. We always talk about small wins. But this right now, you know, whilst there's been a lot of big wins this week, a lot of things to get really riled up about. This is about taking the pace off, you know, and this is definitely a small win. It's not what I was expecting in all honesty. Do you know, I'm about, 3.5 miles in the walk is about 3.7 in total you know if you can get out to somewhere like this give this one a try do you know never walked in this part whilst i've been a passenger or been in a vehicle up and down the 617 on numerous occasions traveling to the north you know just seeing it from a different kind of perspective just opens my eyes up to the day, the area, and what's ahead. So, that's all I've got to say today, guys. No real strong message this week. Of course, with the football, sort of taking over everything. Do you know, I'd normally speak about things we can do to improve ourselves. But, as I've said, it's all been about enjoying it. Do you know, take it, take it in, absorb it. Do you know, come out the other side, and then we'll do what we've got to do. Personally, do you know whilst to talk about having a drink or two? I know once it's all over, I'm going to have to kick back into that Ricky Atten training mode. I'm not Ricky Atten. Uh, probably, well, uh, I can't train like him either, but um, I don't get as big as him. I don't let it go that far. But like I say, there was kind of it was a good analogy. Do you know, and I realised after all of this excitement. You know the hard work starts again. That'll probably be on Monday, at the at the uh, earliest. Probably be Tuesday. Probably be feeling a bit, but I know I can. Do you know? And with some really exciting things to look forward to. Do you know? Beyond the football, lots of races, lots of sort of big events. I'll be vlogging those. Do you know? I've had some really really nice feedback this week. Those videos on Monday and Wednesday in particular. Whilst it's not. The 27 million viewers ITV got for the football, and they were extremely proud of, you know, touching 100 viewers for each. And for this small channel of me waffling away as I'm walking through um, the fields of Nottinghamshire, you know, that's not too bad, is it? At least somebody's watching, you know, and that's all that matters. Somebody somewhere might just take something from it, might just get up or get out for a walk, if you can. Please do, you know, you won't regret it. You know, the best decision I made, sort of, I was going to say this time last year, but it was even before that. Time flies when you're having fun, you know, but don't let it disappear without doing anything. You know, get up, attack the day, wake up to walk. Until Monday, have a great weekend. Enjoy the game. Come on, it's within touching distance. It's gone from sheer excitement to 
absolute nervousness, you know, and trepidation, but, you know, let's see what happens. Just doing it.